energy is contagious. Mm. For me, me, I have my. I always say my heart is my heart is big enough, like Jesus. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not on the same level. We are done mountain of fire. Every oh second, is it first Saturday or second Saturday? And that one is bigger. Clam, baby. We are done, okay. clam. Every Wednesday, our CGG camp. <laughs> we we bring it down right now. <laughs> Throw the we we'll, we'll, we'll bring it down like that. This place will scatter. You can cut me off. Miss, it's okay. Please cut me off. If I'm a problem to you, my love. But, so, you know the things that we give me joy now. Restrict button, mute button, block, delete. You see those things, and yeah. I really just want to appreciate you, baby. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. My name is Mosumala. I'm a beauty enthusiast, a fashion enthusiast, and of course a lifestyle enthusiast. Today on my channel, I have a very, very good friend. I mean, this is my childhood friend, and I really just thought, you know what, let us just have like a conversation, like a chit chat. Like, we have gone through so much when it comes to friendship, and to be honest, in this era where there's a, there are so many things that happen, like to friendship, I kind of just felt that it was just good, like to just talk um, about friendship and how we have been able to overcome this for so long. Um, welcome, Ceci. Her name is Ceci. And <laughs> my badagri millennial buddy friend yes, yes. <laughs> welcome to the channel thank you um this is so funny because um this is my first time that i'm actually having like a guest um kind of on this channel and again we already said that we're going to be doing things that are different things that are you know um just out of the norm i really hope that you're going to enjoy it i know i'm going to enjoy this i have like a couple of questions that i have kind of like set aside for also like talk about um so let's just go right into this so i think the first thing i would just really like to talk about is the importance of female friendships i kind of feel that a lot of times in this era of cancel culture we get a yeah. lot of things that you know most times you have friends saying, I'm cancelling you Cancel. for my mental health. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be like anything that is going to disrupt my mental health. Cancel. You want to cancel it. I mean, it's me. valid. It is valid, <laughs> but I think we need to like stress the importance of female right, yeah, friendships. True. I think that female friendships, like friendships, female friendships, male friendships, like friendship in general is just something that I feel it's very, very key. Right. And what I think I find out that, especially for people like people that are staying, you see they are married friends, when they get married like this, cancel. It's cancel, it's, <laughs> it's finished. Like so, um, and I think a lot of times, friends, especially female friends, find it very difficult to navigate mm -hmm. balancing their friends and marriage. What do you think about that? I think it can be a struggle because marriage in itself, like marriage on its own is very overwhelming. So for females with the responsibility of being with your husband, especially when you now start having kids, it's just sometimes difficult for people to manage and I don't know, it just to each its own. I feel if people understand the importance of female friendship, like having that bond, that sisterhood, that support system, then I think for guys, they don't just like move away from their friends. But with females, once you marry and then you have single friends, it's like, uh, we are not. <laughs> <laughs> we are not on the same level. I must, I must wear it you to know, ring. so but I think that's the worst thing that can happen to any female if you lose your friendship in the name of marriage. Everything is important. Like just trying to find the balance is, I think, the most important thing. And I think for me, whatever the situation is, I think when you meet your spouse, right, it is very important for them to kind of know mm -hmm. who your true, your core friends are. And I think that is where the struggle is for me. That's what I have seen over the years that mm -hmm. when people meet like their better halves, maybe introducing their friends, I don't know, especially if the, if the guy is a cool guy, Sha, I think he's is not as difficult right. but i always think that if you meet someone that is a potential mm -hmm. letting them know your friends mm -hmm. um you know i think it's very key and it would help like in the long run you know like they kind of yeah. already like set the tone like oh ah, this one no this one is my wife's ah, right hand yeah. yeah i think with girls um sometimes when you meet the one it's easy for women to start trying to form and the good one amongst my friends. 
<laughs> and then starts, you know, good yeah trying to be the good one and then trying to tell the guy i'm the best you know my friends are this my friends are that mm. then when it gets serious it becomes difficult to now start telling the guy right. that oh they're not as bad as i said yes. it becomes difficult because sometimes the guys once you tell them something it's like registered so you've already told your husband or your boyfriend your potential that your friends are the worst set of sure. people so mm. how do you now start introducing them so you know <laughs> <laughs> chee, 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 chee. Yeah, I think I, I think that is that is really a struggle. But again, I think finding the right balance, I think, is right. very key. Like sisterhood is hey, especially these days that we are growing, the kind of life issues I can't even imagine what it would yeah. be like without my right. female friends' support. Yeah, like I kind of feel like spousal support is different. Is a whole right. different yeah. game with your friends. Like when you have your friends, like the ones who understand, like. Your person. It's just different. So I mean I would encourage it. Yeah. I also wanted us to talk about supporting each other's goals and dreams. Right. I have so much to say in this instance because you have always been the career career person. <laughs> I have always been the I mean fashion. I, yeah, I like fashion, right? But I kind of feel that I also like that whole career thing. But if anybody look at us, like she would instantly strike like the career person. I I'm, I am, but I'm really not. But I think what I want to You're stress... You're more of the business, like stylist kind yes. of. Yeah, that's your vibe. But I think what I want to stress also with this conversation is the kind of support that I have received. Especially when I moved to the US. I struggled a lot in the first few years mm -hmm. when I moved here. Especially when it came to the career path. So I was like, okay, I wanted to really take my influencing game to another level. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. But she has always been the career person. Um, transitioning when you moved here, I struggled a bit. But I love that with her and a couple of my other friends that had been in you know the career space they were able to like you know help me get my balance and be like you know what you can do this like as a matter of fact you're going to do this so what do you think about that yeah i think it's important as friends to also be able to lift ourselves for me as much as i'm the career person there are areas where i struggle and I need the balance as well. I will expect you to hold my hands. And with you, you had your own struggles trying to transition. How do I fit into this environment? What career path fits me? It wasn't like you're not a career person, but I think you were just trying to understand what suits you best. And you were going into different fields. So with friendship, your friend would know you know your strengths sometimes we don't see ourselves like we don't see ourselves but your good friends will see you right. they will know your weakness they will know your strengths and it's easy i mean i've known you now for almost <laughs> forever yeah, yeah. so it, it was easy for me to say this career path is for you as much as influencing is interesting we also need the extra money to yeah. do that path so yeah it's always been in you we just needed to like yes and I, I'm really very yeah. thankful for that. I don't think I've really had to like, sh I mean, I always tell her, but publicly, I'm very, very appreciative of that, which is what friends <laughs> <Not> do. <laughs> which is what friends do. Um, yeah, I, I think we just balance. I mean, it's not been easy though. Right. Yeah. We've had our own fair share of struggles. Like, Ceci and I used to fight. Oh. We used to fight. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ceci was perceived as the difficult sensitive person but i mean over the years and because we are growing i kind of understand her and she understands me you know me to have shoku she too she has shoku she's strong she's a strong personality and i can and i think i'm also a strong personality how do you think considering that we are two strong personalities how do you think that we have been able to navigate that over the years yeah i think for me like you said i'm a very sensitive person um I'm, I'm, sensitive. I'm actually very sensitive and i think it comes from me knowing that i respect people a lot and there are just some things i probably wouldn't do to you because i see friendship as something so deep like sisterhood mm -hmm. 
and in my mind if i can't do this to you don't do it to me so it makes me super sensitive and when you over expect but as i started to grow i realized that and someone said something to me that kind of changed the way i think about friendship and everything the fact that you do something doesn't mean you should expect or force other people mm, to do that sure. so it all comes from maturity like growing up in my mind if i don't do this you can't do it well, how many fights do you want to fight right. like you just get to the point where you're like mm. so and another thing that i learned as i started growing up was trying to find the balance like does the good outweigh the bad you know if it's just pure bad if it's all stress ah, that cancel so out true, cancel it true. but yeah. then if you wait and then this person is like really good you call on the person the person is there yeah. and then there are just some few shortcomings we just need to find the balance you could you can never find the perfect friend right. so it's just growing i, I needed to grow <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think growing, growing. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I think you touched on a very, very um, important thing because Ceci and I have gone through certain things that, in fact, we had a major age very recently, right? That and you will not even realize that people actually noticed. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, people noticed. But I think we, we the way that we handled this particular one, it kind of just let me know that ah, we have grown. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was a very difficult conversation, guys. Like right. it was difficult, but the fact that we're able to talk through that and just let things go, like I, I think that we have grown. And which brings me to like the next thing that I want, wanted us to discuss, communication. I think that communication in relationships Female friendships takes a different dynamic. And right. why I said that is because like we are dealing with life. Right. Yeah. We are all dealing life with different life Oh my goodness. Life yeah. is lifing. Forget yeah. how we all like, you know, how we all look good, come and show up. Right. Which that mental support behind mm -hmm. bars that your friends give you is what really lets you shine outside. Right. Like what do you think about communication? Some people leave their their friends don't call it. Cecilia and I don't even talk every day. Right. Yeah. But when I pick up the phone mm -hmm. and we call or when she she does it more of the calling actually because I'm really not a calling calling person. Right. But, and she understands stands that and i think it was over the years because there was a time that we we're even always fighting about you you will not call you will not this, yeah. you will know that i'm like babe you know that i'm here yeah. you know i mean and, and i also had to like walk on that as well um, you are like that with all your friends everybody <laughs> don't back and we are like that you are useless with calls but i mean what can we do what can we do <laughs> <laughs> you are useless she has in case you people do this she has an alarm on her phone yeah. called this <laughs> called that when i saw it i was shocked so that's still making an effort which is good yeah because when a friend of mine was like oh well like she didn't think that um it was reciprocal like she was yeah. always doing a lot of calls mm -hmm. she didn't think she liked me as much as i liked her i'm like ah and i love you but right. i'm just useless when it comes to call you know what right. i did i had to like put the alarm and when she when saw it she was shocked, shocked because <laughs> i would for see i can even say oh i'm going to call this person and i'll totally blank out mm -hmm. right but i mean life is life in but people don't yeah. understand yeah. Yeah. People don't understand. I'm sure yeah. that you you get what you get my point yeah. of like you know. So what what would you say like when it comes to communication? Like what 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 do you have to say? I think with friends? communication communication is very important. Mm. You know, and maybe also not assuming because I'm one of those people that assume. Mm. If this person is not calling, ah, over cactus syndrome. If this person, but I I, I think as at some point when you see how. The person has come through. I have a lot of people that will probably say I don't call to. Maybe because they will call me and I feel like I'll just relax and just, oh, they're doing the calling. But sometimes you should, we should learn to understand and know people that love you and people that don't. The fact that somebody doesn't call you doesn't mean I was the queen of assumption. Like mm -hmm. I'll just be like, ah, oh, mm, she's not calling me. <laughs> but we should just stop assuming. If you miss your friend, just pick up the phone and call. Right. I mean, you know, there's really over seriousness in all these things. It's just not worth it. And if you feel some type of way, mm -hmm. I think one of my, like I, I've said it several times, one of my biggest struggles is assumption. I still struggle with that. And maybe when you've seen things, you just feel like, oh, this is it's all part of, everything is all part of trauma response. 
but if we can learn to meet people in the middle and just pick up the phone it's not that serious i'm just at this point in my life where it's not that serious it's not that deep. if i call you and you don't pick i probably won't call you again it's not that deep. but i call once i'm that person that will not call twice like mm -hmm. maybe disturbing your phone but just pick up the phone and talk, talk. you know yes. instead of assuming communication is extremely important if you want your friendship to survive just talk don't assume just talk yes yes um and i think people also struggle with vulnerability in yeah. friendship yeah. i realized that even with friends that have been friends for a very long time they still struggle to be vulnerable to each other and which is why i would like to talk about like the foundation of friendship i kind of feel that friendships these days are just for aesthetics yeah. they're so superficial people don't understand that that friends are going through real life struggles right. especially for those who, you know for some some people when they do lord please do this for me it gets done easily some of us we have to do sky seven ten mountains we have to scabash and scabosh for some things to happen and so when you are and it kind of brings me to like the next question where it's how do you deal with friendships at different stages in life yeah you know as we evolve for you and yeah. i we have gone through different yeah, stages different, yeah. we've met right when we're in school right? right we've gone through the whole single married <laughs> Ah, my dear, we've gone through, you know, the old baby phase, right, we've yeah. gone through like stages where it was just a very dark time. Mm -hmm. For instance, I, when I was transitioning with my job, mm -hmm. she had your career going. It might not be 100% perfect, but like she had a trajectory of where things were going for her. I was still struggling, like, I was still like, you know, trying to just fit in. But then at the point that she was winning, I was ready to, I was there to support all the way. So how would you? describe friendships in different stages in life yeah I, so for me one thing i've seen with friendships especially when people don't understand balancing these things or i'm sorry to say people that have probably not seen some things mm. before when it comes as far as they are concerned my old friendship don't my old friends mm. don't belong that is when they, when they begin settle. to especially this america where luxury yeah. is now or this social mm. media age where everybody is just showing yeah. up and showing out and kind of just feel that oh if you are not in a particular bus so for for right me then. i've never been that person i'm i'm you know me i don't care about friendship i like deep friendship because i'm a very sensitive person mm. so i'll pick someone that cares about me mm. and love me over aesthetics i don't care if you like you know me even if my <laughs> cropped up my tummy is like this if you make me uncomfortable i wouldn't probably want to be around you so being able to balance different stages of friendship the main issue i've seen like i said is probably when people start seeing things they didn't see before or maybe people get married and then their friend is probably not married or people have children their uh. friend, friend doesn't have children or they start making some sort of money like they never saw and their friend is not making that money i understand there might be some friends that probably refuse to grow with mm -hmm. you that you cannot manage but there's always a way to walk around friendship and grow together like right. you can hold each other and kind of grow together so i don't see any problem in navigating different stages of friendship like it doesn't it's just but then you know that there are some people that you want them to be a setting i mean not like you want them to be a setting way but you as you're growing you also want them to grow to grow and yeah. some are just very stuck up in their ways yeah you know yeah those kind of people you bounce honestly <sighs> you know i will bounce because see energy is contagious mm. like energy sometimes energy. You, can, energy. I, it's, you cannot function like mm. light and darkness cannot function hey. so if you're in a space that you are light and darkness is just you know ah no so at some point i'm i'm not of the opinion that you cut people off with because i i think we give men people kind of give men more grace than they give their friends mm, you see girls be girls will be like cut off but we don't do that with your boyfriend like mm. so I feel if it's just not connecting, if the person has refused to evolve, huh. or the person is just stuck up with that mind, ah, this is how we did it in 19... Oh, girl, cut off. <laughs> like, if you want to grow, you have to cut Yeah, off. and I kind of feel yeah. that certain friendships have really, really outgrown themselves. Right, But yeah. for sentiment purposes, you, you just, just want to <laughs> patch the Dali yaki and... Keep patching. <laughs> <Dali. laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dali yaki and my... <laughs> 
I kind of just feel I think you should know at a certain time. Um, I understand too. Yeah, I've had to like cut some friendships off that I just felt, you know what? There's no hard feelings. Right. I love you. Maybe it's from a distance, yeah, but it's just not working. But let's not forget that sometimes people are trying. Mm. We need to extend grace, you know. If you see your friend trying or your friend struggling mm. and your own stage has moved, in, let's extend grace. grace. But if the person is not trying, I'm not of that school of thoughts because you cannot fo you will end up hating yourself True. you will True. end up not liking yourself and you become enemies. enemies but if the person is trying you can support right. but if the person is not trying or if somehow you've just your ideas everything has just, just keep it moving awesome i think i really like that and it brings me to my next question which is new friendships now for some of us that have migrated yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we started from when we were way back in Nigeria mm -hmm. and of course we have met new set of friends mm -hmm. and we're still maintaining like the old ones for me I think my friends for me I think how I've been able to handle that is my new friends which are actually close friends mm -hmm. they know my stance with my old friends like for the ones that are like my genuine true ride or die mm -hmm. I think like Personally, I've been able to strike that balance. Like, everybody knows that these ones and the old ones also know that these ones, like, and in a way, I've been trying to, like, bring everyone together because, again, right. we all have, like, like minds, mm -hmm. like, so for you, how has it been, like, have you been able to, like, have, um, do you have, like, new friends um, where, of course, they've supported maybe dreams, goals, and aspirations that your old friends that, that are not, like, how have you been able to manage both your old friends and your new friends? I've not really struggled, you know, with you, <laughs> your <laughs> friends. For me, that friendship, that word friendship is expensive. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, invariably, what are you trying to say? If I'm no, over see, it, I'm I'm it. <laughs> no, 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 not that. But you, your own heart, like, I know how to have people I anger with, and I know how to have people that I have close relationship with. But as much as I have new friends, I have old friends, it's easy for me to balance things out because me, I've always been consistent. <laughs> My person is consistent. Like, I didn't change, you know, and the values I've always wanted. I still have the same kind of people. So it's easy to navigate. And I don't think I have a lot of new friends. I, I have people, but that friendship is kind of, expensive you know for you for me for me i have my i always say my heart is my heart is big enough like jesus mm. <laughs> and i mean i love everybody yeah love which everybody. is good i mean good. i kind of yeah i kind of feel that for everybody my, comes for like with a purpose you yeah know, so my kind of person i think i have different persons for like different there are some people that also has one million besties. <laughs> no, no. On the contrary, but I the major one we know. But you have one million besties. <laughs> like she's ah, I'm sweet. but I it's don't, good. I don't it's, think so. I that's think, what makes you you. You know. No, I think no. So for me, I, I think one of the things that people struggle with me with is they think I have a lot of. But you do. Actually, I do. Don't you do. Me. Like yeah. I'm close to a lot of people who are saying. <laughs> But they are all sweet people too. Oh yeah, they're all yeah. yeah, they're very sweet to me. But people that value you, people that love you. For instance, now if I see you with other friends and I love you as a person and I see how they love you, why wouldn't I love them? You get so mm -hmm. that really shouldn't be a struggle. If you see me with new friends and you see how they come through for me and you love me, of course you should love them. Yeah. You know? So, so it really shouldn't so be that difficult. That difficult yes. just, ah, we women, we get problems. Ah. Hmm. Women. Anyway, I th yeah, I think one of the major things is women. We are just sentimental. We are sensitive. We are sentimental. Yeah. I'm lady. <laughs> but I think you have really changed. I think your I'm mindset. Sure. Yeah. yeah, I think your mindset has really, really changed. America is stressful. America is. If stressful. you carry friendship on your ah. chest, you just die. I like I already have enough. You yes. know, I have yes. to pay my bills. I have yes. to. Yes. Like, friendship is the yes. least of the problems. Yes. And I kind of feel that yeah. mentally, like everyone is struggling mentally yeah and again it still brings me back to the whole your spouse support and your friend support like there are 
two different things. Just different. I've had questions where people want to meet new friends. And meeting new friends these days, I think, is even very difficult. It is difficult. Because for me, yeah, I don't even think difficult. I have the energy yeah. for new friendship again. I don't, I don't have that energy. Yeah. Ah, no, 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 no. I think new friendships, building from the yeah, scratch is, is something difficult. that... Ah. I think my major struggle, like for me, for me, what I've seen is... Friendship now is based on superficial things. Right. Like, I don't know. You can never look this pretty. Never. Ever. Ever. No, if, if you're not, if you're not, if you cannot carry the Gucci, I if you cannot carry the Bottega, if you cannot I carry love, the I love that, right? <laughs> we, don't, we, don't, we don't know how to balance, balance that. I, I can have friends that, I have friends that are simple people. Right. You know, they're just simple. And they will respect you for you, you. because you like your own shine shine. Yes. Look, people are just too superficial. Do you think it comes with maturity? I think it should be normal. It shouldn't even come with maturity. So don't base friend. You, you just you can you might lose out on good, good deep, deep quality, quality relationship mm. from trying to look at this. Is this person like does she look this? Mm -hmm. Is her body on point? Mm -hmm. Is her teeth on point? <laughs> just build real connection, connection with people. People that you can call on. Like I have people that even they've helped my career. And we are two different people. We will fight to make up. Just don't over analyze, analyze these things, things and just let people evolve. Accept meet your friends where they are, you know. And like I said, that is just something someone told me that's resonated with me trying to outweigh the like just balance it out balance. does the good outweigh the bad we all have our flaws mm -hmm. we all have our struggles mm -hmm. nobody is perfect, perfect. we're all flawed so if you kind of balance it and you see that this person's good like mm -hmm. if i call on this person this person is there and then this person has some bad does the good if the good outweighs the, the bad you can manage the bad Absolutely. but if the bad outweighs the good <laughs> <laughs> and, and i think you made a very very good point um I, I, to follow up on that, I would say that most times we always look at the speck in the other person's eyes and not necessarily yeah. our own. Mm -hmm. We always think we're the perfect person for that person. What, what, make, what even makes you think you're not even the person that you want to yeah, call You yeah. always want to call people up, but you know, sometimes you might even be the problem. For instance, in the case of the communication, when my friend sends that message, she actually sent like a long message. My friend was like, ah, so deep to you. <laughs> I'm like, ah, it's not that deep. But no, most let me add, everybody's love language is different. It's different, yeah. Everybody, but you should also understand your friend. Sometimes you are selfish, you know. <laughs> okay. If you love your friends, you love your friends. But I, I do. Love, no, what I'm saying is this is not even specific to you. Okay. You know your friend, you love your friend. Yes, yes. I mean. Which is why when, when that thing came about was when I said, okay. Muso, I'm you need, I'm story. going to do it yeah. better. When I give her a call now, she didn't know. I mean, I and now I'm up. better. Yeah. That okay, I have to call this person. If I don't call this person, I have to call this person because I had to like make it work because this mm. is someone I like. This right. is someone I don't want to lose. This is mm -hmm. someone that has yeah, been a part of my life as yeah. well. So making an effort is really, really key that I think people really struggle with a lot of people don't want to make effort in friendships yeah like it's not it's not what you will make not, you will make effort in your struggle. relationship you make effort yeah. in your marriage you make yeah. effort in yeah. your boyfriend your sugar yeah. baby everything we take things but you don't you have, we take our friends for granted yeah we like, just I expect can't, can't that they should it. understand no yeah. i don't even think is they can't do it i think it's more not stress me joe oh yeah go cool, understand yeah yeah and it shouldn't be like that it takes an effort like yeah. And it, communication is very key, guys. I think that's really what has really been. Maybe we don't love our friends enough because we might mm. take BS from men. We it, yeah, take we BS. take BS from. But yeah. when it comes to friendship, to your friends, just a tiny, like just tiny discomfort, cut it off. Then. Cut it off. But with your significant other. And it's just so interesting that you'll be surprised at the level of comfort and joy that comes with deep friendship. Like your significant other, your partner, they have their own joy. Do you know how many times friendship? that we have called, we have cried, we yeah, have prayed you know, together? You know, like there's this lifting that it gives yeah, when it we does. have like just those solid conversations right. that they just pour it out. You just pour it out. Just me, I think I'm even like you, yeah. I think you call me the unpaid therapy sometimes. Yeah. Like I yeah. just, I don't even have the solution. She might not have the solution necessarily, but the fact that I could just call. Mm -hmm. And just pour out everything, mm -hmm. and I just feel better. And then we just laugh. 
like nothing really happened. After the call, it's like, oh, okay. yeah, you know, like so it was pray together, pray together. Yeah. yeah, and I think I want to also talk about the importance of spirituality. Yeah. I think that will be like the last phase because personally, I know for a fact, I don't know about any other person, you and I, when it comes to this whole spiritual game, oh. we don't play. <laughs> hey. Yeah. We don't play. The and kingdom I, of God suffering violence. Girl, girl, we have done, we have done our our CGG camp. <laughs> we have done mountain of fire. Every oh second, is it God. first Saturday or second Saturday? And that one in Vega, clam, baby. We have done oh, clam every Wednesday. We have, and I think because we have struggled so. Right. Like I, can't, I kind of feel that nothing, is, uh, nothing was handed over. Nothing was handed exactly. Know, it's constant, no, like, yeah, so we've yeah. had to spiritually. I think it what has also really strengthened strengthened this friendship is our spirituality. Listen, Sessia and I can like we can we can bring down what you go see right now, and uh, like I'm not even capping. We'll we bring it down right now. <laughs> Throw the we we'll, we'll, we'll bring it down like that. This was was kata. like you know, and I think that has really really helped. As a she. My dear sister, what can man do? Yeah, I, I think it has really, really so helped. Oh, he gets what? Oh, he gets what? Oh, tell he gets what? Don't call Jesus. Mm -hmm. Like, it's been a beautiful blessing to be your friend. I think it's Sing been a blessing yeah. um, that you have been my friend. Sing and it. I really just want to appreciate you, baby. I mean, there were times that when I wasn't in Nigeria, she would, you know, call my mom um, before she passed. She would call my mom, you know, just she was her also her best friend. So let us all learn to do better, to give ourselves grace, yeah, grace and you know, yeah. and, and really just be there. It's not that. Yeah. You, you know, know, sometimes it's easy for us to look at ourselves and say, I'm the perfect one. As in, yeah. As in, as in. So we're not all perfect, you know, communication what? just. Just let love leave. Yes, what? if the friendship is dragging you down. Mm. Sorry. Yeah, if, if wow. the friendship is not, yeah. Um, I think we are all going through so much. So if somebody is even not even making it life easy for you, life please, is it's okay. No. Life, life is toxic. Oh, no. So if anybody is not, if even you cut me it, off, it's okay. Uh, Why yeah. do you stress you? <laughs> if I'm the I know some people have even cut me off, my dear. If it's for your mental sanity, mm, I cut I me off. Miss, it's okay. Please cut me off. I if understand. I'm a problem to you, my love. But one thing I know is I'm not, I'm a blessing. Girl. Oh yeah, girl. No, see, I think there are sometimes you. I don't even need a lot in my circle right now. <laughs> You see that circle? My circle is before. You're shrinking it. Oh my girl. Yeah. My circle right now, I have filtered and filtered. And I don't think I'm but even... But even if I, you have queens in your circle, like... You that's know, what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That yeah. I think the circle that I have now is yeah. solid enough that yeah. I, I don't even they think I have that energy yeah. for a new friend. Right. I, I don't have that. I don't think I have it. Yeah. Because the things that we have gone through and the, the things that people do now... Mm -hmm. Oh, it's scary. They, they, they munch the text, they munch the chats, they munch mm -hmm. small fights like this everywhere is scatter. Ah, did they scare me, oh baby? And do you know did what they fear me? I know we're trying to like get off so it's not too long, but I always wonder why is it hard for friends to compliment each other? Girl, that's like, you are friends and then you can't see your friend and be like, you look good. Ah. You see your friend, you're like, mm, mm. that's toxic. That's why he's winning. Why can't you clap? clap? You can clap. You can be your friend's chair. See, this guy is big enough. People, I think people don't understand it. And I think it, it takes... It get, oh, well, would you wear back, baby? I think it even gets to a level of self-awareness. A lot yeah. of people are not self-aware. That's witchcraft energy. That's witchcraft energy. But if you already, if you sense it, like, if you say me, I'm very quick to sense. Ah, uh, you sure? oh, 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 yeah. are not quick to say no. No, 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 no. I, it's a part of it's part of giving people grace. Right, true. When you have when you have realized that oh, this person is always about connecting. they will copy you in the corner. Yes, like corner copy. This yeah. person will, they will you will post your achievements. Mm -hmm. They will see it. You know that they saw it. But they will never say hello. They will never even acknowledge yeah, just, it. Yeah. They will never. So if you are saying it one or two times, it's not tired. Yeah. Sure. And then people find it hard to, you know the things that we give me joy now, restrict button, moot button, block, delete, you see those things? Um, oh the God. funny thing is, yeah, that I use mute button a lot, but you see that block, I hardly use it because ah. you're going to use your hand to block yourself. No, me, I will block you. Because blocking is me, like, passing that energy. No, 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 no. As for me, no, for you, maybe for you, but for or me. Or if you don't want to see the person. For me, I think... 
If I want to, let me cook my do. Let me help you. <laughs> I, 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 I don't see, have time for that. You're gonna block yourself. No, 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 no. I don't even want you in that space. I don't yeah. want you. What if I work for your yeah. man? Yeah. What if I do you understand? Yeah. I think it works for me. If I don't even see, if I don't yeah. want to smell you, I just like I'll do you the honors. Yeah. By doing that and by helping you, I'm helping myself. So, but let's just let love lead. Like, if love not leads, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even advocating for love to lead. <laughs> <laughs> if it not leave, it's all right. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay at this point because the ones that yeah. the, that will give me the love that I need, in fact, they're not even giving me all of the love. They still have so much capacity to, you know. I still have as well, so I will not let one person that maybe they are blocked in, in their house America. that is finding it hard to that love. Stress. I will not let anybody yeah. stress me. So again, I don't want this to be long. I don't want this to be too long, long, but I'm really, really, I really enjoyed this I time. Really did enjoy this. It's like you should not even go back home. So. I don't want to go. <laughs> so thank you so much uh, for gracing this seat for this chit chat. Um, thank, thank you so you much. For um, if you have, please tell them to subscribe. Oh. Subscribe. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I want to grow this so, that energy that we're trying to have. Well, if you enjoyed the video, just so it will not cost any money. It's free. free. Zero point zero zero. It's still negative energy. Like you saw her, she's gorgeous, you love her, just subscribe. Hey. Hey, my light be laughed at this one like this. Ah, please. Eh? Please. Please. <laughs> please subscribe. Please subscribe. Thank you so much. I'll see you, you on my next one. Bye. Bye.